Guys, help! I accidentally drowned the plant! Why? Curse your bad memory! What am I doing here again? Oh yeah, hey everybody, your Fiolas here. Welcome back to some more ukulele. Last time, we began our adventure by uh, learning some moves, starting out with the uh, rollout ability. That'll probably come into use later on. And we're beginning our journey through the worlds this time. It'll cost one PhD to unlock the world. You want to unlock Tribal Stack Tropics? Return later and I'll reveal more about the Grand Tome. So, as you can see, there's probably a little bit more that we could probably learn later on, but we can't necessarily write them. So if we... So if we try to uh, maneuver around a bit more, so I just have to deal with this camera. Oh, well, got a little too bright here. And then something that looks like it'll be a bit too high, maybe? No? I know you can get across there, but, that, but we're not going to be focusing on that. So let's go ahead and... Alright, just jumped right into here. So welcome to Tribal Stack Ruins. This area is really interesting. Okay, I remember down here. So, this is our first major location of the game. Just starting things out, just going on down. Like I said, I'm kind of basing this off of like a memory that I do have. So, right here we can get started with ghost. Ghost Riders we are. This book we made. For your five and a treasure we'll trade. So this goes into the Ghost Riders, capturing one ghoul. Impressive indeed. But to free us all, the tactics you need. So, kind of going to think that that the, that the uh, um, Ghost Riders in this game are based off the Jinzos back in Banjo Kazooie. However, though, to unlock them, you need to perform different maneuvers and such. So going on forward, yeah, we're automatically get it by slippery slopes. Slippery slopes do kind of suck. Besides cameras. All right. I forgot how to center behind, but oh well. So welcome to the mainland. We have some baddies here at the start, just to get on by. If you need help, there you go. So I guess just running around here. So again, there's 200 pages in each world. So yeah, so that's a thing. I think if I remember right, there's 15 um, stars and and uh, 200 quills in each world. So right here, we have ourselves a ghost. And so that is the second type of ghost. I think they're called speedsters. Let me stop. That's how I refer to them. They're speedy ghost guys. So to catch them, just run into them. It's roughly it. So I guess next up we can go up here because we have a little bit of a gate. Gosh, it seems I've gotten myself into a pot of bother. Oi, no, no need for a name calling. Um, hello? I do you need some help? She's looking a bit malnourished. Tripes, thank goodness you're here. I've been kidnapped by the by these things. And they're going to cook me. Uh, <laughs> if they're hungry, they'll need a character a bit more fleshed out. Real love. Gosh, it seems you just can't be a world-class explorer these days without being cooked and eaten. Help me escape, and I'll reward you with a pagey. But be quick, my captors. We'll be back any minute with their condiments. All right. Don't worry, miss. We'll get you out of there. Ugh, step away from pot, strange dinosaur. So we have ourselves a bit of a uh, enemy gauntlet. So they're going to be coming at you. Just spin a win. That's mostly it. They come at you. There we go. Ugh. Those are them back go good with skeleton soup. 
Add much body. So I just press square twice for it and it's an attack. Just one around, press square. Is that all of them? Nope. What are you doing back here? Uh, there we go. Looks like dinner's cancelled. Oh, thank you, kind lizard. You have my eternal gratitude. Those brutes took a real beating, but I have a feeling they'll be back. Can, can you feel it in your bones? Of course. Please take your reward. You earned it. Alright then. So, uh, I'll let them enjoy their, uh, cookbook. So, I guess coming back forward, just running around finding more pages, I guess. Oh, there's another quail. So we want to stock among quails a lot, especially in this early game. Because, yeah. I don't think I ever mentioned this, but I do plan on going for 100%. So, yeah, so we can go forward and, uh... Why does it feel like there should be more to this? Eh, broken bridges are broken bridges. So we'll have to come back there later. It's one of the main things about this game, though. So... Similar to that. So, coming forward, right over there we have ourselves Nimbus, but... We'll wait a bit later. Next up, I think our next course faction is going to be over here. So we can come right here and have ourselves a broken baby. And what are you supposed to be? I'm a pagey piece. I get torn up by capital B's men and forces and thrown into this jungle. My other pieces have, have been scattered nearby. Please find my other three pieces. And I'll be whole again. You poor thing. Don't worry. Worry not to be with yourself. I thought this was supposed to be a modern game, Yuka. Collectibles used to come in one piece. Alright then, so... So you can't collect that, but we'll have to collect other pieces, so... I guess having four, we got some more quails. Looks like he found enough quills from my first move. Ooh, so stop, so stop by later on. Right here we get ourselves a new mechanic. Oh no! Good day to you young warriors! I bet you've got a wait the name. Come on then, what is it? Oh no no! They call one Sir Scoffs a lot, and I am proud knight of Hamalot. I know it. Carry on then. Tell us about your uh, brave quest for treasure. Om nom nom. Indeed. Once fellow knights and I are engaged in a daring hunt for the great Rampo's sacred treasure place. Om nom nom. For security reasons, we split our search into four separate locations. Om nom nom. Whatever. However, one is currently feeling a little too burdened to locate. Why thou assist in locating my fellow knights? In the treasure? Okay, sure. Don't worry, Scoffslot. We'll help find your knights. Oh, nom nom. Excellent. A first knight isn't far. Allow one to bestow a clue. My feet are wet, but do not fret. I won't drown by this corporate town. God, if you forget, we'll come back and ask you again. So it gives you a little bit of a riddle on where to go. So, I guess heading on forward, right? Here's our first of the pagey pieces. And the second pagey piece. Two more to go. Let's oh. judge that. So if we come back here... So we have a ghost that will come, come and go. I know it's possible you can get these, but I know this goes for sure you need later on. You can't collect them. At least not right now. My tear is one just laying out in the middle of nowhere. 
On the third page, Dean. One more to go. Alright then. So, coming up this way. Um, just trying to remember. Because I know that you can do a little bit of... Well, this game is open to do a lot of sequence breaking and not a lot of sequence breaking. So right up here is the last pagey. Wow, that's all of them. Now come back and assemble me. Alright. Assembling we go. You found all my, all my pieces. Finally, I'm free. Not for long, Goldie. Alright then, so we have ourselves our second pagey. So right up here we get ourselves a Grand Pyramid. And with that, a little bit more so. We come right here. Oh, if it isn't my old mates. Please step right to my office. What office? Looks more like a uh, crumbly old temple to me. Ah uh, yes, pay no attention. Top designers are on the case, award winners. Classy stuff. Anyways, I take it you're here for some of Trousers' famous ad advanced maneuvers. Yes, please. We could really do with some of those new moves, Trouser. Smashing. Just for you, my good pals. I'll teach you a, a real boss slammer just for 30 quills. A bargain. Hold well, on, I thought we had a deal. We, we unlock worlds to give us freebies. My free moves apply only in Hyvray Towers. I'm afraid the Tome Rolls, it's business as usual. Extended ass. Wait, what did I just say? Let me to know which product you're after. You filled required forms. So right here we get ourselves three different ones. We get Sonar Shot, Slurp Shot, and Body Slam. Body Slam. So these three are going to be really useful. I'm trying to think what would be the first one. What do you say I do like? Top choice, are you sure this is the one you're after? Yep. We'll get more later on, trust me. Okay, what's this move all about, Trouser? This next move is a stunning offer. I'm practically giving it to you. For free. Use it with 30 quills. Seriously, with prices like these, I'm going to have to remortgage my house. Is that about our old ruin, too? Lately. Stop being so mean. To perform Body Slam, simply jump in the air with X and then press L2 to send our green friend here slamming to towards the floor, causing massive damage. Oof. Would it make more sense to have Whaley do the slamming? Not, not likely. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not like we're having a bird slam down. That's a lot less, uh, physique. More effortlessly smashing drop souls and four leg, all that stuff. No, we'll be needing. No, no, we'll be needing accident insurance with that, my good mates. Actually, <laughs> nope, we're fine with thanks for me. All right then, so we don't have anything else. Living already, come back soon. I got an important call coming up. So once again, you just slam up twice, and there we go. So right here, hold up there, surfing job, putting some. Light so I can set up my target challenge. If you could address the other three blocked windows, that would be splendid. So, again, we have ourselves some lights we need to open up. Open that up. And one last one right here. Capital work. Come inside and we'll arrange for a sporting contest for the real prize. What hope? So that kind of walks in, works into there. So next up, we're gonna come down this way, and then yeah. So our next little piece of work, so I'm gonna go ahead and go sneak mode, because we get ourselves a laser here and three things. So first things first, we need to find a Nintendo Switch. So you just walk around and you need to find the five in these orders. So switch here, dark in there. One, two, I'm just trying to think. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. And where's ham sandwich? So I'm just walking around here. So ham sandwich is right here. So one, two, three, four, five. So with that, we're going to head and head on forward. 
One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Wow, amazing! Someone with bad, bad memory as me has remembered that you're not actually supposed to water cacti. Was able to remember that and able to solve that. So, that is our first use of the buddy slam. Use to, well, another use, I guess. So, with that, um, oops, we fell down. It's okay, we're back up. And we get ourselves a third. Hey, it looks like you've, you found enough pages to expand a world. So, meet me at the Grand Tome entrance and we'll talk. We'll do that probably later. So I guess coming on forward, I'm just starting to uh, wander around a bit. So right up here. So I'm just trying to think, where else can we go? I guess we can just follow this trail along. So I just kind of want to unlock all three before we head on out. So down into here, um, yeah, it's weird. It looks like there should be um, water stuff here, but there's not. We'll probably figure that out later on. So yeah. So next up. Mm. Yeah, we can't reach up there. We, uh, just trying to see. We got this rock here. Nope. Can't do it. Because I know there's something up there that we can get to, but... Yeah, you can kind of see it right there in the foreground. There's something very useful in there. I can probably reach that, actually. It's funny. It's like, I'm just going through, kind of go through casually, and then just try and do as much sequence breaking as I can. Because this game is very much open to sequence breaking. Nope. Can't break up that. Probably up here. Again, it's kind of like Skyrim logic. You try to do something more convoluted, but there is a very much easier way to get up there. So we got that rock. Jump up there. Oh yeah, we got this, so jump up here. 19, 20, and then we can probably get into there now. Nice! And then, inside here. Whoa, Haley! Check out this mysterious pirate treasure. I wonder if there's more to find in the other worlds. So, that goes into the pirate treasure mechanic. Well, it's an additional collectible that doesn't have any purpose, really. Except there are achievements you can get with that. Because if, if you were playing along for the first time, you'd probably get an achievement saying, our oh, pirate treasure or something like that. So, yeah. So next time, I'm just kind of wandering around until I find something of interest. Oh, I know something of interest. Just can't remember how we get up there. Guess we can do the uh, cheap way, I guess. There we go. So, we can get up here, get some more quails. Oh no, I kind of like collect the thorns. I, one thing that I kind of uh, lampshaded on early when I was starting this let's play is that I never actually played um, Banjo Kazooie because Banjo Kazooie was like was like originally on the PS4 not PS4 um, N64 so right here we get ourselves an obstacle course we adjust yourself nope oh that actually worked amazing so you just gotta make it through there So I guess our next course of action is just collecting all the quails that we missed. Shouldn't be that bad, so we just make it through all the little hoops. Cause I remember my first playthrough, back back when I was first playing this game, that kind of stumped me up for like e ages cause I kept on failing at that and yeah. So just hop up here. Since that's, ha that's technically the way you're supposed to go, but this is what you were talking about, so. Now then, one thing you kind of that was kind of noted was that I was able to hold still moving my uh, uh, thing around. Okay, it's, uh, it's L R1 that we use to get around. So 
So yeah, so we can just stand mostly still as long as we're in crash position. I have no idea how this works. I don't know why this works. This is video game logic we're talking about. So we're down there. How are we doing on time anyways? 20 minutes. Eh. We can probably collect one more pagey. Question is, where do we find pages? I guess we can just wander down here. So I kind of want to keep these episodes kind of short, kind of long. So I guess we got that. Oh, I think I know what we can do to put things off. So, we can walk on the edge this year. Go too far right, you're probably going to fall down into the abyss. Which would kind of suck. So we got ourselves a little bit of an obstacle course here. I'm just trying to look around. Because I know somewhere around here there should be... Aha! Maybe? No? Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. So we can look into here and we have ourselves a little bit of a play, play token thing. So just move right back there. Play coin get. Return me to Rexpro for some fun. Oh boy, Rexpro. So kind of obvious what Rexpro is kind of is kind of going to be. So just coming up to the end. Just heading up here. Um, let's see, I'm just trying to think. Is there anything else I want to do? I guess let's move along this outskirt. I just want to explore a bit, because one thing that I do like about... Because, yeah, this is like a big world. One thing that's kind of a little bit criticized about ukulele is just how big these worlds are. Typically, they're huge, but not overly large. Alright, then. So, I think we're just going to get on top of this uh, arcade machine, probably call it, maybe? Let me get on top there. Ah, probably right here. Camera, can you please work for once? Yeah, the camera in this game, it ain't fun. Okay, we'll probably have to come back there later. So I think we might as well conclude the episode off. So, I think with that, with that little introduction, I think next time in Ukulele, we continue our exploration around Travel Stack Ruins. And this has been kind of disjointed me when you don't record for like, like you, you attempt to record and then like you take a break for like a year, you uh, don't do much. So I just want more fail for the road, so that way enemies won't bugger me. So next time, ukulele, we continue our exploration through Trouble Sack Ruins. I will see you guys then.